We are studying diversity management and, and I personally find that this is an extremely important question in today's society because it has to do with uh, how to best use the uh, sort of resources out there in society in terms of all the people that can get uh, engaged in organizations, but also the fairness about everybody should have a chance to get a job. And we have found, we know that there are a lot of organizations who are very ambitious about the diversity work, they do a lot of things, they have a lot of initiatives, but they do not always get the results that they expect. Sometimes they, for example, even start to reproduce re discrimination or stereotypes that they try to fight with the diversity work. We would like to find out why is that? How come that the ambitious organizations who do a lot for diversity do not get the results that they want? One of the challenges that we've seen is realizing the um, need for expert knowledge, both about the issue of diversity um, and also about the practices for change, how to do diversity management. Another challenge is also understanding the importance of a clear ownership of the issue. So who is responsible for this, carrying out this work for change? Um, is it HR? Is it the managers? Is it the owners? Everyone? And also, who is going to be held accountable for this work? The third challenge is that we see uh, multiple reasons for doing diversity management work. For, for some people, it's a, it's a good thing to do. It's what you do when you have time. So it becomes an add-on, yeah, an extra. For other organizations, it clearly is core to the uh, operation, daily operation. They have to, be, to have diversity, they need to build on diversity to answer to client needs or to face a changing environment. So very different views on the reason to do diversity management. The fourth challenge we see with diversity management is that there are different views on who needs to change. Some organizations see that the other, the one who is different, the minority, has to adapt, it has to be fixed. And then we're talking about assimilation. In other organization, they believe that they themselves, the organization, us, we have to change. And that's toward inclusion. So the openness to learning, one way of, uh, of, of doing that is looking at stereotypes. And that is why we right now work on specific methods developed for the managers of the organizations we work with, so that they become uh, more capable of working with stereotypes in their everyday practices.